Well, hello and welcome to another Q&A, a Christmas Q&A, no less. These are questions asked by people on the Patreon page for Hubnut and also channel members on YouTube. Not, not all of them are questions this time because James Elsner from Switzerland uh, tells me that Rita the Rover and Giselle the GSA are his personal favourites on the fleet, closely, closely followed by Foxanne, as it's truly a car of its own. Very kind of him. I did ask people what their favourites were on the fleet. Um, Simon Parsons hopes to see all of the alt sit. Yeah, I haven't done much filming with the poor alt sit. And asks whether I have a favourite between the alt sit and the Sana. Those two long termers that are just sitting at the back of the unit waiting for their moment. Favourite alt sit, I reckon, just because it's mechanically more interesting. Flat 4 engine, uh, that cast off Western Citroen design. Uh, I just think it's a more interesting concept. But um, both cars have shown some signs of life. Yes, they have. And Just the a little flicker. The Sana has actually operated its windscreen wiper, so that elevates it slightly. Uh, Simon also asks if I have any travel plans, but it's very hard to make travel plans at the moment. You can't really plan anything, and both cars are entirely broken. But uh, yeah, at some point it will be nice to take them on a long trip, perhaps back to where they were built. Uh, Fergus McIver. Uh, I'd like to see you and Miss Hubnut take the Sherada Matisse to Anglesey Circuit for a track day and find out which has the fastest lap time. I think you probably mean the slowest lap time there. I don't think either of them are race car material. I think Shemi would have it. Yeah, she just. would. She's got a yeah. bit more poke. She's got that grrr, extra <laughs> bit of grunt. And uh, also handles in a way that doesn't feel like she's going to fall over. Yes, there so, is that. It'd be an interesting part of learning to drive, taking a track day. Why not? Why not? Raw Appleson, wonder if it would be possible to have some footage from the driving lessons. <laughs> uh, we only had two so far, haven't we? Yes. And uh, to be honest, I think they're stressful enough without starting to invade it with cameras. I think I'll just give it a little bit longer, just because I'm very nervous, and also there are a few expletives at the moment. Which yeah, we need we need to iron those out. They, those are not going to go down well on the driving test. I no. Don't think. No. So we'll see what we can do with those. But also, I'm, I'm reluctant to film while I'm sort of doing the tuition because I'm meant to be paying attention. I'm meant to be sort of spotting danger. I shouldn't be mucking about with cameras. Be kind of fly on the wall, I think. Just yeah. let it run. Yeah, just get the camera set up, mm. see what happens. So maybe at some point. Simone Smith, what is the worst MOT result you have ever had? Um, bizarrely, I had a really bad pass with um, Ellie a few years ago when she got the body advisory for corroded all over. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure I've had a terrible result. I mean, the City Rover was bad enough for me to think I'm not going to bother sorting it out, but that was more because I couldn't get the parts. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure I've ever had a true... I wouldn't put a car in if I thought it was going to fail badly. Uh, oh, Simone's feeling sad because her Rover 75 has just failed. Aww. I know the feeling. Uh, Paul Watts. Hi, Ian and family. Hopefully next year you and Miss Hubnut plus the younger Hubnuts can take a car adventure. What car from your fleet would you take? Or would you like to take? And, and um, would you want to find a car to take home? Ooh. Ooh. Does that mean we'd have to leave somebody? Uh, it's either that or he's assuming we get to the stage where you can drive back I and we go in convoy. I see. Uh, hmm. that, that's a really good question. Uh, which car would I like to take? Well, it's the, meant to be the world meeting of two CV friends in Switzerland next summer. I don't know if that's going to go ahead, but that would be one to take Ellie on. And uh, yeah, we're not going to be buying a car in Switzerland, I don't think. No, it'd be lovely to have um, Giselle bobbling around in France as well. Yes, that would definitely lovely. need to happen. Again, that was a planned um, trip. It was. Deferred for the anniversary celebrations, de deferred for a year. So we're meant to be going to Paris in May, but... Again, it seems a bit hard to take these things for gospel at the moment. Uh, William Teva, I lo I'm looking forward to seeing what happens to the Sana and the Altsit. Uh, do you know if the whiteboard ever turned up in the mail? Uh, someone did try to send me um, a whiteboard, but because it's a PO box, it got rejected and went back to the seller and the chap got a refund. So um, I, I still need to, I, I need to sort out myself. A whiteboard would be very useful to have. i uh, try and list, maybe I don't want to list all the things I need to do on each car. But well, I can help with that. Yeah, yeah, you, you can you help. give it to it little gentle chunks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll break into it gently because yeah, there's an awful lot to do on an awful lot of cars. Um, any big plans for next year? Fiberglass videos, trips? Well, trips, we don't know. Fiberglassing, we yes, definitely want to do. we're going to get on with that. Yeah, on Tuk and Foxham, to be mm. honest. Uh, it's been wonderful seeing the family members getting involved in your channel. 
Especially when Miss Hubner is involved. Oh, Aww. thank you. That's very kind. The chemistry between you two is wonderful. Oh, well, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, says William. And the same back to Merry you. Christmas. Thank you very much. That leaves us done with the Patreon questions. So I just need to remember where the YouTube ones are. Here we go. Uh, end float. You seem to have a real interest in music, as do I. And I was wondering, have you ever thought about making a video about your favourite driving songs? Ooh, that is something I would quite like to do. I've been having thoughts about a second channel that's not car stuff for, for that very reason, because I do have a deep love of music. You certainly love your oh, music. I do, yeah. She's very good on pop math, but better than me. <laughs> um, oh, so... except for the, um, what is it, the Wall of Fame ones at the moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the um, end of year pop master. Um, what is it? It's the Champions League. Champions League, yeah. that's what it's called. Oof. Yeah, that, that's very, very difficult. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I can't think of any great driving songs off the top of my head. To be honest, most of my cars don't have a working stereo, so that's not entirely helpful. Barry Davis, innuendo seems to be creeping into a few videos recently. Is that a Miss Hubnut trait, or do you feel, feel more comfortable after the debut of the family? To be honest, we, we, we do like to slip them in. Oh, oh no. See, it's not me. Yeah, it's, it's a, <laughs> a joint effort. I, I, I blame the whole family. You've, you've corrupted my mind. <laughs> uh, Reshead, what do you think about the Chrysler stroke Hillman stroke Talbot Avenger? I had one when I backpacked through New Zealand almost 25 years ago. I, I really like them. I did drive one very briefly in New Zealand. It was the first time I'd driven one in years. It's in a video where um, I was in Omaru and drove several cars in very, very short road tests, and that was one of them. I definitely need to do a proper Avenger video. I think they're great cars, hugely underrated, far better than the um, Ford Escort. Boo. <laughs> uh, yeah, people will be booing at their screens now. So yeah, I would like one. Nicholas C, I'm going to ask it what everybody wants to know. How is George? Um, George is well, as far as I know. I see pictures of him looking quite happy, usually sitting in boxes from time to time. Uh, when are we going to have a new video about the Sana? Yeah, not much progress there, so um, no time too soon. Although hopefully we'll get some tinkering time between Christmas and New Year. Yes. So yeah, maybe we'll so. make it happen. Um, steadily acquiring more and more manuals and wiring diagrams. And uh, it just says, I really enjoy your videos. Thanks for letting us be a part of this. You are welcome, Nicholas. Uh, MG Bets one what did you mean by sort of <laughs> when you fitted Rita's sill trim? Well, I ordered a set of clips that I thought would be enough clips to fit the, the sill trim. 11 99 on eBay it was for the pack of clips. And you get five and you need more. So it's slightly fa flapping in the breeze a bit. It, it got damaged when the sill got damaged, so it doesn't fit perfectly anyway. Uh, I have a horrible feeling gaffer tape may be involved at some point. Mr. Mark UK one my favourite is Took. And that is how I found your channel. My question is, what do you have planned for next year? Well, like I say, not much planned, but definitely want to improve mm -hmm. Tuck. Tuck needs some love. Yeah, I've got her engine parts, mm -hmm. so we can crack on with trying to swap out the damaged cylinder head and hopefully get her up and running again. Got to fix the window, more fiberglassing and mm -hmm. stuff to do. I'm watching some really exciting videos on YouTube about fiberglassing. Mm -hmm. I'm staying well away. That resin ugh, does my <laughs> head in. So, yeah, we, we have plans, sort of. Gib112. My favourite is the GSA, but I missed the Tercel. Yeah, in, in an ideal world, I would have perhaps got that sorted out, but I think it was just a bit too rotten to save, really. Monocoque structure is not the easiest when you can't get replacement panels. I think you'd need a jig to do a proper job on that. Frank Waltius, my favourite is the GSA, because it was also sold in the GDR back in the day. Ah. Uh, well, he finds the stories of Honecker being a Citroen fan. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure who Honecker is, but I'm guessing he's linked to, to the GDR. Out find these stories fascinating. Mm. Uh, Merzal, can I give two suggestions? Uh, one, can you do a big project like the Sana or Ulta on a weekly basis? Um, if I was actually doing some progress, yes, I probably could. Two, would it be fun if the viewers, patrons, can influence the choice of car you will buy next? Ooh. That is something I would actually like that to do. That would be interesting. Yeah. A viewer's choice. Mm. But I think the, the Sana and the Ulta, I think they will be sort of weekly once we get them going, but it's getting to that point, really. Yeah, yeah, and um, they may have to go away. Not so much the Sano, but I think the Altsit may have to go to someone else to do some of the more technical welding on it. Uh, there's some really nasty spots on that, but we'll see. I wonder what they would like to see during the fleet. Yeah, 
Maybe we should ask mm. you, what, what do you want, Merzal? Leave a comment below. What, what do you want me to have next? Uh, Matthew Thomas. Hello, Ian. I have a 2001 Vauxhall Aguila, which was bought as a quick fix and sell on car 18 months ago. I now love it. <laughs> have you ever driven an Aguila? No. And if so, what are your thoughts? Well, I don't have any because I haven't driven one yet, but I, I'd like to. I've driven the Suzuki Wagon R, but that was a very long time ago. I think when I still had Myrtle and I was starting to get a bit bored and think about what I might go for next. But it didn't quite win me over. So that's another car I still need to drive. Julian Knight, uh, have you ever thought of creating an intro for your videos? I'm not sure it would really be the thing for my channel. Um, I'd, I'd just say this is what's coming and then do it. So yeah, Matt has one on furious driving, he does. But um, and I'd also lose it and I'd be going, well, where is it when I'm trying to actually insert it into the videos because I'm hopeless. Uh, Lloyd Vehicle Consulting, uh, thanks for the chance to ask another question. Are you planning on filming any more Deus? Yes, I do have plans, but I, again, things have been put on hold. Uh, Muso and Espero are very oh, high on my list that I would like to try. Yeah. Uh, Lloyd Vehicle Consulting recently drove Nexias and they were surprisingly good. Well, they should be. They're Mark II Astras with slightly different face. Flaming Hedgehog, how do you pick a favourite child? <laughs> I, I think he's on about the his cars. His vehicles, yeah, vehicles, not these two. Rather than this pair, with yeah. being very um, modern child and looking at their phones. Uh, have a soft spot for Ellie. She makes me smile and laugh, but Took and the Fox bring me joy whenever I hear them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ellie's really number one, but she, even Ellie doesn't get the same attention that Took gets. If I take Took out, people go crazy. I've got some slight climbing going on in the background here, it would seem. Have you conceded that the Yugo is beyond help and it's time to just let go? No. No. No, the only problem with the Yugo is I haven't had time to do anything. Hello, little dog. This is Diego the dog. He's very small. And uh, we've got a package due. Uh, more beanie hats are arriving any minute now. So we may have to cut in proceedings while he shouts at the courier. <laughs> Apologies to the courier. Uh, bicycle hub, my favourite is Took by a mile. Uh, I absolutely love her from her styling to her engine and all her different sounds when she's driving. She's definitely like nothing else I've ever driven. There aren't many cars with handlebars for a start. Videos where you got her to run for the first time are classics. Yeah, can't wait to see some more air-cooled maintenance. Yep, working on it. Definitely working on it. So, um, yeah, hopefully Tuck will be alive and kicking in the new year. Uh, Brendan Walker, no question for me. Just wanted to wish you and the Hubnut family a very happy Christmas. Well, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Na dolly flower. Mm -hmm. Ohio Pete S2K. What American car would you like to add to your fleet? Keep up the great work. Well, we've just been watching the Queen's Gambit. <laughs> yeah. Which was very, very good. And uh, in that um, film uh, or series, mini series, um, towards the end, um, there's a Chevrolet Corvair yeah, that Coupe. Gorgeous. I, it just reminded me of the one I was driving around um, in New Zealand. Hello, Ian, the owner, if you're watching. And uh, I would love one of those. It's just so non-typical American car. So I would like one of those, I think. Hi, that or something dreadful like a Saturn. I, th I think someone did ask this question in the recent live stream. And I think I said Saturn's in that. I think they're interesting too. Ed Hazard Morris. Thanks for all the entertainment. I've been around long enough that cars that were once boring and ubiquitous are now interesting to me, i.e. Sierras, Falcons, Galants, etc. I never quite know how to phrase this, but what do you think it takes for a boring modern to become interesting? <laughs> Is it just age, scarcity, something else? Hmm. <sighs> That's an interesting one. I mean, age is always going to be a part of it. I mean, you think Morris Oxfords, for a long time, were just seen as cheap old bangers. They weren't classics at all. <laughs> I'm going to suggest the courier has just arrived, so we may take a short break to um, ponder this question in more detail. <laughs> Shut up! There we go, it wasn't a courier, it must have just been a person or something. But yeah, it, it's an interesting one to see what when mo boring modern becomes interesting. I think we're seeing with the late 80s, early 90s, the nostalgia effect is kicking in and that's starting to push up values of a lot of cars I would still like to own and scarcity also a part of that it definitely does it's that feeling like for example the ford mondeos there are millions upon millions of them and even those yeah. you're not seeing them so much anymore no. so when you do you have a certain warmth towards them 
Yeah, Mark III so, Astra is mm. the same. Cars that were all over the place, now vanishing. We were discussing the Nissan Micras on the way to Amherst the other day. Yeah, yeah, K10 and 11 Micras, and even 12s, the little froggy face ones. Uh, yeah, they're, they're all disappearing quickly. Uh, Ian Ellis, it's nice to see your channel expanding with the addition of Miss Hubnut and family. Will Miss Hubnut be adding a car of her own to the fleet? Mm. Well, we kind of already have. Jenny is mine. Yeah, the <laughs> Daihatsu Charade. Uh, my favourite is Tuck, just because of its quirkiness. Oh, Merry Christmas to you all. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Uh, Dean, I like all the cars. As they are suitable for different adventures, it's nice to see different vehicles get a chance to shine. Oh, yes. And to see cars that I've never heard of. Yes, I have a few of those on the fleet. I also enjoy the idiosyncratic um, nature of these cars, whether they will run or not, and the various fettling. Yes, yes, there's... <laughs> added a little correction to that um saying he's an idiot especially when texting no 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 the problem is technology mm -hmm. auto correction oh, i just pressed the wrong button i've lost all the questions oh. yay that's <laughs> great just rather proves the point doesn't it uh there we go nathan yeah, tomkinson yeah. i like the 75 do you have any more road trips planned and love the new zealand australia trip yeah a year ago i was in new zealand it seems a lifetime ago um we haven't got any trips planned other than the vague ideas possibly about citrons in various parts of europe but mm. we just need to see how the year goes so yeah. very hard to plan anything scotland again we want to go to if you've never yeah. been but currently we are uh, level four stay at home so that's yeah. what we are doing <laughs> yeah which means hopefully we can get some cars fixed Midway studios excellent videos as always thank you enjoying the piece on the fox and the yugo uh, from past videos i know that ian is native to the midlands Given that Miss Hubner pronounced the Welsh carriage name correctly last month, is she native to Wales or just lived there so long? So, uh, I've been here so long. My mum decided that we would move to Wales when I was six, but she also decided that, uh, that we would learn Welsh. So we moved to a small Welsh village and everybody spoke to us in Welsh. So when you're six, you pick it up very quickly. So that's why. And that's why I've got quite a strange accent as well. It is an intriguing accent. Mm. It, it dots around the, <laughs> the, the UK. It's, it's quite amusing. Uh, Robert Brink. My favourites in your fleet are all the air-cooled things. I hope for a DAF or Trabant someday. So do I. I'm happy to own e either of those. My question, if you would be offered an unlimited travel budget, but no time for preparation, which car from your present fleet would you take in its current state, <laughs> and where would you want to go? Uh... I do like road tripping in the 2CV. Um, but if you've got to go now, because he said the no. The 2CV is just back together. It just doesn't have um, working wipers at the moment. It's, it would be shemmy. Would it? Well, we can't take anything else at the we moment. Take Ellie and a bit of string. It'll be fine. I'll just stand there like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's got it. You're a natural. They even made a noise. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I love road tripping that car. and It'd be nice to take it shemmy on an adventure but she's just a bit too modern oh oh no of course great upset <laughs> let's move swiftly on uh james wallace do you like dr hook and the medicine show i'm not sure i'm familiar enough with their music and for me that when you're in love with a beautiful woman oh, i wouldn't know anything about that beautiful... oh, you don't. and did they do sylvia's mother as well because that's a brilliant song i told you she knew more about music than i do Possibly. Mm. There's a question for you as well. So Ian's line of work is to be a YouTube sensation. <laughs> what is yours? I understand if you don't want to tell us. I work for a well-known holiday company. Um, I work as a trainer. So there was a question the other day as to you have to train people to go on holiday. But it's not the people coming on holiday. It's training the team to look after the people that come on holiday to make sure that they have a positive experience. But you're not doing that for much longer. I'm not doing that for much longer. So I'm going to be... You're going to be a YouTuber. Yeah, I'm going to be a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Greater Floydian Sergal, he had a few questions in the live stream. Do you have any goals for 2021? Uh, be it for the channel, one of your projects, a destination, or even something involving Miss Hubnuth and the Hubsters, or Hublip. Um, I, I do have um, goals. I'm not sure 2021 is when they're going to happen. The Hubnut Museum idea is still very much mm. floating around in my mind, um, but mostly improve the cars because 
they're all in a bit of a state yeah. at the moment. I need to catch up and sort them out. That's the main motivation. Scottish Car Enthusiast TV says he has too many favourites on the fleet, but he's going to go, go for the GSA, closely followed by Ellie. Lovely seeing Giselle get so much love. Yeah. So my question is, what plans have you, Miss Hubnut, and the little Hublets got for Christmas? Are you just going to visit family? Well, visiting family is a bit difficult um, at the moment, so yeah, we, we won't be visiting families. We made the decision a little while ago that it would just be us four, well, five with the dogs, at home uh, so we literally got our Tesco's delivery the day before yesterday didn't mm -hmm. we and that's us hold up for Christmas and it, it's worked out lovely actually so yeah we're looking forward to it as we record this it's the 23rd of December mm -hmm. so Christmas Eve Eve yes it's Adam's Eve Adam's Eve? Mm -hmm. Adam's Eve okay so we've got it's Adam's Eve uh, Sam ears my favourite are Took and Myrtle I like Eddie too, but I've never really been a French car fan. But a 2CV is the one Citroen I would buy. Yes, I think a lot of people are like that. Uh, 2CVs are just that little bit different. They have a, an awful lot of character. Gar Rage? Is that someone who's had enough of Lady Gar Gar? Or is it Garage? Oh, I see. Yeah. Given that public events will be possible again someday, which car events would be the Hubnut recommendations to a continental tourist on a two to three week? summer oh. road trip in Britain. Uh, Haggerty's Festival of the Unexceptional, if you're of a hub nut nature, the, the cars there are marvellous. So I would definitely recommend that. Uh, some of the NEC shows, the um, Practical Classics Classic Car and Restoration Show uh, has been scheduled for June, but whether that will go ahead, um, it's hard to t tell at the moment. Uh, that's one of my favourite events as well. Um, not really sure about any of us. There, there are some fantastic events. The Goodwood Revival is very good, but very, very expensive. Um, but that, that's not Hubnut at all. It's hugely valuable machines being driven in anger, and uh, I love it for that. Howard Levert, uh, his favourite is Took, of course. Uh, I must be in the minority, but I dislike the increased innuendo on the channel. Oh, now we feel like we're in trouble. If I wanted that sort of drivel, I'd watch Sarah and Tuned. She loves a bit of innuendo. That's what she said. Uh, I watch it for motor car content. Will it be possible to see more work on the Altsit and the Yugo in the future? I hope so. Any plans to address the unit's damp and excess ventilation? Uh, because of the damp, I'm very glad of the excess ventilation at the moment, but mm. I'm really starting to think I need to move uh, perhaps to a proper unit. Uh, much pondering going on at the moment. Liam Smith, hope you're all well. My question is, what's the best Hubnut standard level of average Christmas present? to get for someone so that they may celebrate a hubnut level of standard average Christmas? Ooh, that's a very tricky question. Yeah, a, a, a sort of average Christmas present. Uh, hmm. Are we going to find out in a couple of days? Set jump leads? <laughs> Always useful. I reckon that's good. Uh, what was it I had to walk oh. household of plants and I had to tell you I didn't want for my Christmas present the other day? Uh, ironing board? No, there was something I can't remember now off the top of my head. Yeah. Domestic art. Oh, I did get you a frying pan you for your did? birthday. It's, it's been, a very good frying pan. It's been a very good frying pan. So, as long as you make sure it's quality, it's fine. <laughs> Are we playing tug of war with the dog? Okay. Oh, but he just wants to be a star. Tony Smith, his favourites are Took and Ellie. Probably the only person who's wondering this, but how did the Pachu we all know and love originate? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure myself. I did it once, I think possibly on a Rover 600 video when I had that, uh, just because it felt like the video needed an ending. Uh, also, inquiring about the Yugo, no firm plans as yet. Uh, Nigel Rudd, when are we going to get a road test on not my Volvo? <laughs> it might be possible. Um, it's not outside at the moment, it will be later. Uh, Took and the Fox are his favourites, and the Matiz. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas. And someone else has said that they want to see the not my Volvo. Not my Volvo as well. Oh, I love that. When I click on it to see more, it jumps straight out of the question. I have no idea. So I don't know where we were now. Ratty Rex, can't think of a question, so more a comment. Thank you for an amazing channel full of funny comments and informative information. Yeah, I show you very much how not to do things. Hope you and the family have a great Christmas and New Year's. Uh, P.S. Ignored your advice. Bought a Rover 75 with a V6 2 litre. A state. Yes, it's slow. 
Yes, it will be. That's not a big enough engine for that car. JL, Merry Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Hudnut. Merry Christmas to you. Will you ever bring a Ford into the fleet? Ooh. And if you had to choose a Ford from the 90s era, what might that be? I think I might get overruled on what that might be. Well, I'm, I'm always cautious of telling him what I might like because it, it wouldn't happen. But we know my preferences. Yeah. Um, but I, I think you, ha you do like Fords. Yeah, I, I kind of intrigued by the Mark V Escort. They were mm. so badly reviewed at the time. But I, I really need to try one. <laughs> Just to see. Just to see how bad they are. <laughs> there are oh, again, there's something that's not as many as there were at mm. all. Also, 90s, late 90s, uh, one of Australia's best ever cars, the AU Ford Falcon. That's what oh, I was yeah. waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Robert N. Green 6. Merry Christmas. And to you. All your current fleet are interesting in their own ways. How can I possibly pick a favourite? Okay, it's Foxanne. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, as a big fan of the Hudnut store, I wonder what goodies you have in the pipeline for us next year. We're working on new t-shirt designs, mm -hmm. trying to find ways to be more flexible about the types of clothing we can offer, ladies fit, children sizes. So, um, yeah, and we'll, we'll see what else we come up with. There's always stuff. There are things we were pondering this year, but we just didn't have time to get into production. Yeah. Yeah, um, and also a really good travel mug. I really think that's a good yeah, one. That, 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 I think that's the thing I was thinking yes. of. We already do mugs, but you can't take them with you. What about pet clothes? Pet clothes? That could be <laughs> something. Do you think Diego would like having a little hubnut jumper? He's looking at me in a way that says no. <laughs> uh, Ian Taff, I like all your vehicles. Enough said. It would be nice if Miss Hubnut did some commentary on your videos so she could give her perspective on some of the cars. What do you think, dear lady? That could be interesting. Yes. Definitely. It's a different perspective as well. Yeah, I would give that a go. Yeah, but you still haven't actually been out in that many of them, really. No. Well, forbidden from talk, so... <laughs> well, yeah, for the time being. Yeah. But once you have a driving licence, I'll just plonk you in and away you go. You don't have to worry about reaching the pedals. No. No, there aren't any. <laughs> so, perfect solution. Uh, Shane Marsh, uh, would you ever consider a family road trip around France in Ely? Um... Yeah, I've kind of done circumnavigating um, France before. It's an awfully long way. It's over 3,000 miles if you want to do it properly. Absolutely amazing, though, because France yeah. is so varied in all the different regions. And I did it in two weeks. Uh, so that, that was a bit of a canter. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think we'd rather just go to our favourite bits of France rather than try and see all of it. I it's could a just big imagine old country. France over two weeks, around the whole, you went around the whole of France in yeah. two weeks. Yeah. So How could you, you appreciate were having to do 200, it? 300 miles a day. It was, um, yeah. Six weeks of Exhausting. Some very nice scrapyards, though. That'd be good fun. We all go and jump around a scrapyard. Yes. Yes. Uh, Wayne Fleetwood, do you think an old Vanguard would be a perfect Hubnut addition? After driving that Vanguard estate in um, Australia, yes, that was a lovely old thing. It's been restored since. Not too much, but it has been repainted and it looks fantastic now. The green's all done in metallic. So well done, Peter, for that. Luke Rich, my favourite of the fleet is the Matiz. Possibly because I have one myself. Haha. -ha. I will admit, after going from Stoke to Wrexham, back to the black country, it really isn't one for long journeys. No. No. I have heard the passenger seat is far more comfortable. Ah. There we go, then. <laughs> so um, once you have your licence, you can just drive me around in Myrtle. Okay. You do a nice little regal wave. Yeah. It? Yeah. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans for the Matiz once the current situation is over? She does need some restoration work. I need to get the heater working properly because I think it's got clogged up. Um, but otherwise, just keep driving her and try and keep her solid. Les Palmer, my two favourites are Tuck and Ellie. So I'm quite keen on seeing how the Hugo Sala develops. Yes, so are we. Yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Miss Hubnut and the two junior Hubnuts. Ah, back at you with Holly on. Aww. Or Tinsel. Tinsel's less sharp, thinking about it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, Steve Zodiac. Sorting out Foxanne's fuel tank was a real pleasure to watch and hugely entertaining. Some of it, I believe, is because the two of you bounce off each other. We do, rather. <laughs> uh, I do hope to see more with two of you. So do I. Um, a, because it gets very lonely filming on your own. And B, like you say, you just have someone to bounce off and help out. It's a lot more interesting, I think. And, and three, he wants to make me do all the fiddly bits because I have small hands. Yeah. No. We'll pause there, shall we? Right, we shall continue. Oh, are you eating mince pies? Um, <laughs> I can wait. 
Mm-mm. Never speak in Danish. Oh, oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Zodiac um, also said, um, I'm a G100 Sherrard owner, and seeing how many Daihatsu you've driven and owned, I have a feeling you would have a soft spot for Daihatsus. What am I missing? The dog just rested <laughs> my face to me. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm not the one taking him out for a walk later. Um, but yes, uh, do you have a soft spot for Daihatsus? Yes, I really do. I think they're just fun. Um, all the way back to that little fellow Max I drove in Christchurch. That was insane, with a little two-stroke engine. Oh, huge fun. Alan Lansdale, uh, I do like the usual classics too. Miners, Minis, MGs and Land Rovers. But oddballs are so much more interesting. Took is a firm favourite for me. Uh, well, yeah, I'm very much of the same mind. I, I love um, oddball cars. No! It's just clicked into it. I didn't want to do that. Uh, I like the political story behind the rareness of the Sana, yes, and the mm -hmm. reject, reborn take on the Altsit. But what oddball rarity would you like to find and add to the collection? Oh gosh, there are so many oddballs. One I actually want is a Japanese one. It's the um, Nissan Liberta Villa, which is uh, a, a sort of posh um, version of the Nissan Sunny with, um, um, oh, what do you call them? Not, not the doilies. The things that look like doilies that go on the back of chairs. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't think what the word is. There is a word for that. Yeah, and I can never remember it. Uh, but yeah, it, it, they're just amazing. I'd love one of those. I think they're very peculiar. Scott Fisher. When I was young, my dad had a Montego Vanden Pla saloon, which I loved. Do you think a Montego Countryman would be an ideal family car? I think the mini hubs would love traveling in the rear facing seats. Uh, I, I would love a Montego estate um, because it was the first car I drove after passing my test. My dad's Montego estate and I just thought it was a great car actually, even though I have memories of it not starting on damp mornings and the water pump seized once as well. Oh, I have fond memories of having to eat cafe lait in France for two weeks because my parents had to spend all the holiday money on repairing our Austin at Montego Estate. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, and then we, like we live that experience and drive from Montego to France. That is something we would actually like to do. Whether we can make it happen or not, I don't know, but that is one of our plans. We seem to want to spend a lot of time in France <laughs> in Funny various that. cars. Yeah, strange how such an owners could want to spend time in France. Mm. Uh, but yes, the rear-facing seats, I remember those, because you'd be in a traffic jam and you just have two kids staring at you. <laughs> Very unnerving. Jay Spears. Hi, Ian and family. Just wanted to know if Tuck is going to get a makeover. Yes, we do hope to yes. smarten the old girl up. Not too much. I mean, you know me, I'm hardly the home of concourse restoration. But the, there are a few people, there's some Invercars being restored in Northern Ireland at the moment, and they're doing a beautiful job. That's not what we want. We don't want to lose the character of what these cars were like in service. But she does need some love. But yeah, she mm. does. She's bubbling up all over the place. There are cracks developing. Need sorting out. Uh, Terry Bus 13, uh, or Chris Turner, he said in um, brackets, not a question as such, but more a small request. I'd love for you to give us an official Hubnut Wiper lexicon on the web Hubnut website. All the proper Hubnut Wiper terms, the drawing, showing them descriptions. Blah, blah, blah. All types of wipers. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. I would, um, yeah, very much like to um, do something along those lines. Perhaps That's that could point. be in your book, because obviously with Christmas approaching, I have been doing some research on whether there are any good wiper books, and there aren't. No, so the Hub Nut Wiper book. There is one about book. the woman that created wipers. Hmm. But it's a children's book. Oh. Uh, oh, should I have got it anyway? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, pub trivia. The clap hand wipers on the classic Enviro 200 and 300 from around 2007 to 200, 2017 buses are actually different to each other. A uh, near side wiper parks above the offside on the 200, whereas on the 300, the offside parks above the near side. Do I win a prize for such wiper geekery? No, just the um, admiration of everyone <laughs> watching this video. Manco Z100 uh, was going on about the lights on Tuk, which we had when we recorded an earlier lovely. video. Yeah, we ruled out any further plans to film at the unit because it's freezing. AM, hello Hubnut, GSA wins hands down. Uh, not a, a question again, but it's another suggestion. You would find the generally well-preserved older vehicles in South Africa quite fascinating and not a world away from Australia and New Zealand. Uh, yeah, that's somewhere I'd love to visit. Mm. Actually, South Africa, 
um, many interesting things over there. Some very interesting vehicles. The, um, the Ford Cortina backies. They even did an Escort backy. What's a backy? Pickup. Oh. So, um, yeah, I, I think you would find those interesting. Mm. Various Mazdas as well. It was quite the industry in um, South Africa for a time. Uh, best wishes are none. A South African now living in Australia. Uh, he also says, may I say that you and Miss Hubner are the perfect foil for each other. That Foxam video was hilarious. Or oh, hysterical, sorry. Love your dry humour. Combined with Ms. Hubnut's quick retort. Yes, that, that's just us generally. So um, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, Retro North, do you have a favourite Christmas present that you have ever received? Um, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been doing Christmas that much for a long time. And now life has changed and I'm wearing a Christmas jumper. Uh, one of two Christmas jumpers I now yes, have. Yes. And uh, there are many gifts I've had to remind myself how to wrap presents which is horrendous but i was getting better towards the end so um yeah i can't think of a favorite christmas present um some of the reference books i had as a child maybe uh if we get in snow in wales can we have a time lapse hubnut family snowman building competition please not not sure snow is that likely unfortunately and we're right on the coast it's very strange here because uh where we are the sea is there um we don't get much snow but if you go four miles up the road, because you literally go up to go anywhere, you can have eight foot, ten foot drifts of snow. Yeah. So yeah. certainly had that up in Dev Devil's, Dr Dr Devil's Bridge a few years ago, six mm. or seven foot drifts. It was um, frightening. That was the day I got home in the Toyota Starlet. And uh, I was very, very lucky to make it through. All, all the roads to the village were closed like mere hours after I got home. That was a bit scary. And that was actually the last question. Yeah. So that... That ends the uh, Q and A session. Thank you very but much. But we're going to jump into mailbag, so we'll just have a quick pause because uh, I need to grab a drink. Gather the troops. Yeah, and oh. we shall jump into mailbag. Oh, suddenly the children are looking a lot more interested. Are we? Are we? Are we going to do some children questions? Because you said there were seven. Did I? Yeah, seven Patreon questions. Oh. Yeah, sorry, there, there aren't any more children questions this time. <laughs> Such is life. So next time you'll have to ask the children questions or they're going to get very upset. Yes. And you will ruin their day. It's ruin our Christmas. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> right. Moving swiftly on, we shall jump into mailbag. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> oh, you wouldn't believe the chaos we've just had between <laughs> shooting. But uh, nonetheless, we are going to jump straight into mailbag. I'm going to go with this one because it's got um, two CVs on the back. It says, mm -hmm. Ian of Hubnut. <gasps> it's top trumps. Midden Casa wagons. Oh. I don't know what miss, what that means, but it looks interesting. Nonetheless, it's got an AD100, I think, on the front. I wonder where they come from. Two of them. We've got Kleiner, Kleiner autos. Ah, little cars? Yes. So here's the Kleiner and Autos with the Mini, uh, generally accepted as a pretty good representative of what middle, a small car is. Middle size, mm. mid-range cars. Wow, have we got anything accompanying those? Mm. A family of wobble, wobbling hubnutters. <laughs> I think that's Stein. Uh, Ian, Carly, kids, little dog, and each and every three and four feet, <laughs> four, three and four wheeler. Very Merry Christmas and an amazing 2021 for all of you. May we soon be able to be more Hubnut social again. Thanks for all the great content. Uh, definitely. Definitely <laughs> made 2020 more bearable. Uh, not in the last place. Thanks to the introduction of Carly and the kids. Do Take good care of yourself. This, this is handwritten. Uh, my eyes aren't working very well. Uh, till 2021. Well, I think we'll carry on looking after each other beyond 2021. Mm. But yeah, thank you very much. Cherry, Christmas and a nappy few year. <laughs> Oh yes, that's definitely Stein. I can see him there, looking all arty. So thank you, Stein. Uh, very great. And we received. love a good game, so we'll give that a go. Yeah, top trump. Have we actually decided on a name for it yet? Hoblets. Oh, okay. Uh, this is also from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. As Christmas nears and 2020 is almost over, finally, I decided to send you a present. At least two of your most individual cars will be in great shape. Uh, in slightly shrunk form. <gasps> it's another one. <laughs> As if by magic the yeah. bubble wrap disappeared. It's another green alt set and another white 
um, Yugo Florida or Sana. He doesn't look quite a collection of these, but they're very good models. So they are uh, fabulous. thank you very good. much. Bye. This product is not a Troy, not for children under 14 years. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Oh, they're both out. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you're getting closer. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. You keep the stuff all together. That's from um, Just Get, uh, if that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, there we go. That's two from the Netherlands. Thank you very much, Netherlands. Oh, a letter. I think it's a card, actually. Oh, happy Christmas. And it's a... 2CV. It looks like almost like 2CV clip art. That's amazing. I do like that colour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To Ian Miss Anderson, children, best wishes and hope for a better 2021. That's uh, from Alan Smith in the Fenlands of Cambridgeshire. Thank you very much. Happy Christmas. Yeah, happy Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's <laughs> No name on that one. I no think name on this name. one. Oh. It is, no name. it is open. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no name usually means Ian Jackson was involved. <laughs> the Haynes Manual on bodywork. What are you saying? Car bodywork and paintwork from paint touch up to major repairs. Mm. Uh, oh, and there's a cat. Ah, there is a cat. There is a cat inside. I'm much like my unit quite often at the moment. Thanks for a great YouTube channel. Enjoy this book. Happy Christmas from David. So it's not Ian Jackson. Thank you very much. Uh, Does it include fiberglass? I don't know. Have a read. I will have to have a read. Essential bedtime reading. Uh, dear Hubnut People, do you think the marketing company who produced this for Citroen in 1987 were a little embarrassed by the 2CV? Uh, uh, Robin Van Vanag? Vanago? Vanag yeah, that looks Yeah. Let's have a look. Powering ahead. Oh, would you like the I'm paper just clip? gathering everything. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's the 1987 Citroen range. Uh, oh, no. On the back it says, Aww. powering ahead, well sort of, of the two CVs. Oh, That's very French humour, isn't it, really? Yeah. Power steering? No. Electric <laughs> front windows? No. Electric rear windows? No. Central door locking? No. Got T one dot. Yeah, one dot for folding sunroof. <laughs> but nobody else has Yeah, that. no other car in the Citroen range had that. That's very interesting, thank you. And, oh yes, yeah, some lovely photos of BXs being exciting and rugged. It's a lovely 2CV photo on the back. Thank you. That'd be um, one to keep. Someone's su suggesting my car smells. Ah, there might be a message there. There you go. Uh, a gift from Campbell Inches. Well, thank you very much. Same colour as your car. So there you go. But you've got to laugh. New car scent. Mm. The only time we'll smell that. I don't know if you can smell it through. Yeah, I think mean, Myrtle's lost her new car smell. So you, you can have that for Shemmy because she stinks of dog. <laughs> You're so uh, mean about my car. I am. Uh, let's go on to this one because I think I know what this is. I think this might actually be for you. So do you want to open this one? Well, I open it a little bit more. This was not my best opening job. No, I don't think you know what this is. Oh, is this <laughs> not what I, Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is uh, quite a lot of tea. Wow. We were joking before we did this about a lifetime supply of tea. <laughs> now we have it. Uh, it's a good job um, three of us here definitely like tea. Oh, no. Uh, he likes coffee. Yes, tea. but he will drink tea. He's, he's not entirely wrong, so it's fine. What we've got in this one. Note there. A uh, gift note from Aber Andrew Robertshaw. I enjoyed your video of the Welsh coast in Foxham. This may help next time. The kids love the ice cream shop in Newquay thanks to your video. It is a very good ice cream shop. Uh, happy Christmas, all hum nuts. Well, thank you, Andy. What have we got? What is it? What is it? Windscreen cleaner. <gasps> oh, didn't open that packet. Yeah. Throw it in. What can't go in ice cream? Whatever this is. No, no, I don't, I don't think you want to put that in ice cream. I think it's very useful for mm. cleaning windows. Ooh, it's for little well, people who can't reach the middle normally. Is it the sauna? Hold on, someone's triggered the dog. Who could you be aiming that at? I'll him. I think we've got two of them. I think we've got yes, one each. Yes, I've packed two. Is it the 
There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, me and me and car cleaning don't necessarily go together all that well. It may have been a subtle hint to you, maybe. It could have been. Hello. Or maybe with the whole Ellie situation, I could just hang out the side and do that. Could Marvelous. work. Yeah, we do have broken wipers on Ellie at the moment. Yeah, how expensive the wipers on Ellie? Uh, it'll be fine. We'll just rebuild now, it. Do not make this innuendo. Oh <laughs> no! I'm going to read the card though. We've got a card in here. Before we unveil what is in the box, the box of innuendo. Uh, we've got a lovely card. We have a doggo. That is a beautiful card. Uh, I hope you enjoy the enclosed biscuits, which are a traditional item from Moore's Bakery in <gasps> Bridport, Dorset. They are baked three times. Go, they go well with a good strong cheese, such as Stilton. Oh, Ooh. conveniently, I have stocked up on blue cheese and most cheeses. Yeah, but what if the dog eats it? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, asking whether he can refer to my rebuilds of Ellie in a, a magazine feature uh, for it's in French for British people. Oh, la vie outre manche. Uh, mm. That's an interesting one. But yeah, uh, yeah wants to write stories about two CVs. Yes, you you certainly can. That's um, fine. And and the slow build one I found in Tasmania. That's absolutely lovely. Would like to use a picture of me cornering on a right hander. Yes, that's a few years old, that picture, but you're more than welcome to use it. I will send the finished article in a few weeks, and Miss Hovnut can translate. Okay. Because my French yeah. is terrible. Yeah, thank you. Stay safe, all, and best of luck to Miss Hovnut with taking the driving test. That could be some way off yet. But, uh, oh, rude! <laughs> well, no, I think it, 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 it's it is more, a way off. It's more of it, it's actually quite difficult to get yeah. lessons and tests at the moment. Not, not a comment about your driving. We've survived two tests and my trousers are still intact it's quite easy to... uh, or my underwear rather that sounded very wrong i like driving uh, ps keep your all going very fond memories of co-driving a gs from south london dover calais to marseille and back oh, wow fabulous. yeah that that's a trip mm. we would love to do so keith penfold thank and you very much and we... card. let's like show you what's driving. in here so uh, it's yet more tea <gasps> it's orange. yorkshire gold our finest blend of tea. Oh, yeah, I didn't know they did I've gold. I've never tried that, mm. so I... Is gold leaf in it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't now, think you can sort of yeah. get anything from gold leaf. But the, um, yeah, the biscuits, you need to see the biscuits. Uh, if, if you don't like innuendos, I'd run away now. They are um, Dorset Knob biscuits. <laughs> so, wow. Thank you very much. It's going to be a really useful well. tin. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We're going to so, fight over whether that goes up the yeah. unit or it stays here. So, thank you. Have the dog card? Oh, I'll better have a look at the card as well. Oh, lovely. Joyeux Noël et bon année. Uh, uh, yes, from Keith Penfold. Thank you very much. Mum. You just smacked the light. <laughs> uh, enjoy the tin of Dorset knobs and please try not to laugh too much. Yeah, thank you very much. That is uh, very kind of you. We'll keep those all together over there. Uh, this is from Derek, and then it's been taped over. So, Derek's something. The Hubnut family. Yeah. Where are you from? Kent. Oh, it's a rather nice card. I, I hope you find the contents useful to Hubnuts Big and Small from Derek. There is a lot of bubble wrap. Okay. <gasps> I love bubble wrap. Give me some. Can I have some? Don't pop it while we... Oh. Yeah, we, we use that for sending mugs out. Oh, he's got big, big bubbles. Bubble oh, you weren't joking. Oh, here we go. I am mightily intrigued as to what's in here. Ah. It is. An inlet manifold and SU carburetor it's for... Lovely. A reliant. Oh. Ah. Oh my god. It looks wow. um, rather cleaner than anything that would be on what box that. <laughs> yeah, it does. But uh, perhaps more complete. Mm. Are Interesting. You like Are you going to put that on what? It does smell a bit like a museum. I might well do. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Derek. Put that back in the box. We have our big box. 
one. We're going for a big box so, next, are we? Let's move that one. And I'll keep the card out. Let's do a swap. What about that one? Oh gosh. Oh, that, that's a separate item. We'll get to that in a moment. This is a big box of all sorts of things. We got people to buy us lots of tea. Uh, this says kid. What? You're a kid. I'm a kid. Okay. Oh, oh, we... Yeah. That one says kid also. Uh, that's a stereo microphone. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. A little boom mic. That can be quite useful. Thank you. Does that mean I have one now? Oh, uh, well, maybe you can have this one. No, does that mean I have a microphone? There you go. Is that is that for oh, you? Oh, these no, these. Oh no, just say have nut kids. Intake of breath. <laughs> oh ho! Here's the one for you. <gasps> oh, marvelous! So to Mister yeah. Miss. Kids, Hubnut family, Merry Christmas from Kenneth. Oh, hope you and family like presents from Thanks. Ken Morris. Thank you very Thank much. You. So you had a concern. So I, I get the microphone. That's also to Miss. Maybe. We'll get to that now. But Ian had a concern with regard to seat covers and Chemi because of course she has side airbags. Side airbags, but there is a side airbag on there, and we were pondering whether they might be pink or fluffy. But they are very sensible. They are very sensible very and stylish. very colour coordinated. Very, very nice. Yeah, thank you. Because poor Shemid Sharad has very tired seats. So she is a little nice. What do we got in thank there? Thank you. It's you. Oh, oh blind. Oh gosh, glitz. Wow, those are beautiful. Wow. Wow. Those are stunning. They got some for your bubbly. Thank you very, very much. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Kenneth. Bubbly. Conveniently, I have some but What What did you get in your little kitty packages? Have you not uh, opened them yet? We're not opening them till Christmas. Oh, mystery boxes. Do you know what to open them now? Ask me yet. While we're on Yeah, how, how will the world yeah. know? Yeah. All right, here we go. That's very, those are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, thank you. You open that one first. Okay. Seems I got the While they're opening away, I'm just going to jump on this one, which yeah. arrived today from Blackwater Studios who um, print all our t-shirts and hoodies down in Cornwall and um, gosh I don't think this is going to go with the um, tea all that well <laughs> no it's very wow. fragrant gosh that is strong uh, oh, artisan coffee so uh, what have we got in here it's the strongest smelling coffee I've ever smelled oh. There we go. It, like it is quite beautiful though. Oh, yeah, it's remarkably strong. You like coffee. So thank you for your continued support throughout the last 12 months. We look forward to working with you in the new year. Merry Christmas from everyone at Blackwater Studios. So thank you very much, um, Blackwater Studios. Details there, yeah. uh, find them on the internet. They are lovely people. They've been a pleasure to deal with over the past two years now. Yeah. And the children are still <laughs> hacking into their boxes. It's like a little elf sat on the back of the sofa. Um, is that the last item? Yes. Oh, well, I, I think start? we're going to need to unroll this. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, it's, I see. And don't forget these two are in their boxes as well behind us. Yeah, so we've still got the children opening their little boxes. Oh, are you swapping boxes? Yeah, yeah, boy stuff, girl stuff. Boy stuff. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Gosh, you got all sorts. You've got loads in there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hello, kitties. Yeah, wow. We've got many items I think we can include, yes. so thank you, Kenneth. Um, oh, I see what this is. Yeah. Do you know what this is? I can see from that. I see, I know, I saw that much, but I don't know. Oh, wow. It's that photo. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, with the it's, old it's my cover. in the background. Yeah. That's brilliant. Oh, wow. wow. That is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, thank you very much. We need some bedroom decoration. Yes, we do. Mm. And there is a message in here as well, if I'll just leave you with that. Oh, is it like a scroll? That's brilliant. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hubner's family. Hope you don't mind me having this made for you. Thought it would look good in your workshop. It would get destroyed in my workshop, I fear. From Cleedon Village, Aww. North East England. Uh, that's lovely. Yeah, well, thank you very much. What else have we got here? 
He always had one done himself in this ah. photo of his garage. Um, I mean, the MR2 isn't the most hardened of vehicles, but he's got a Punto in there. Look at that, bright yellow Fiat Punto. I'm very taken by that. Thank you very much, person of the yeah. Northeast. <laughs> and we've got candles. Oh, 88 candles. I love the I like the yeah the bracelet of skulls. Yeah, that's cool. I love that. It's very um. Yeah, I'm worth it. Um, do you want me to? Oh. Mum might be a bit jealous. Glittery belt. Oh, very nice. Blimey. <gasps> Is that a hat? Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> Turkey hat. <laughs> Art de France. I'm not having any joy there either. Oh yes, that looks very stylish. Yeah. Got I've got the sharper cool. fingernails. Whoa. <laughs> Earrings. This is a bit of a mixed yeah. bag you, you've got going on here. Wow. Earrings? Yeah. Earrings. Mm, beautiful oh, earrings. Mommy. You have to taste your ears now. Yes. Even though I can do something. Hold on, where, where did I put my um, sharp yeah, knives? Yeah. You don't want me piercing your ears? Not really, no. Okay. But yeah, th thank you for um, an amazing selection yeah, of thank items. Thank you very, That's, very um, much. Yeah. Absolutely, I can't really believe that people um, feel the need to send us these items. It's just wonderful. No, so, thank you very much and Merry Christmas. Bye, Noel. Nadolik Sawen. Feliz Navidad. Etc. Farewell.